All right, we're ready for Coach Lee to make an opening statement. Well, phenomenal day for uh, for Mac Anglin uh, and Matt Clark. Both those guys threw the ball very, very well. Uh, Anglin was just absolutely dominant today. Uh, you know, he was he was as good as it gets, and that's what you're looking for out of a game one starter. You know, offensively, I thought we swung the bats pretty well today. You know, we had a, a day where the wind was blowing in, ball wasn't carrying uh, great, um, and uh, we kind of had to, you know, find a way uh, to score runs. We got guys on base. Um, Hackenberg came up with a big two-out, two-strike hit in the third to give us a big inning. We scored one run in the inning. We tagged on two more right there, and we scored three in the third. Then we had another big uh, two-out hit by Parker in the fourth. Uh, scored a couple runs there. And, uh, you know, I thought defensively we played a great baseball game. Thought Max Wagner, James Parker both made great plays early in the game. Sam Hall uh, in his first game back for us, he's been hurt for – uh, the whole year, uh, we got him, got him back, and able to use him and um, on the defensive side, put him in, and he ended the game with a spectacular play. Thought Dylan Brewer made a really nice play on a ball hit down the line that could have been a double, cut the ball off, and uh, you know held him to a single. So thought you know overall we played a great defensive ball game. We pitched outstanding, swung the bats well. Don't know if I could have asked for uh, a better ball game out of my club. That's for sure. Guys played a great game today. Hey, Monty, how disappointing was it to see the weather delay come when it did with such a great pitching performance? Well, you know, you, you, you never know what's going to happen with the weather. You know, we tried to make the best, uh, the best guess that we could uh, yesterday based on the forecast that felt like we were going to have some rain. And, you know, as a head coach, you want to make sure that, like with a summertime weather pattern like we had today, that you give your, your team the best chance to get nine innings in and felt like the rain, um, there was a higher chance of rain later in the day than earlier in the day. So we knew it was probably going to come at some point. Uh, so, uh, you know, you hate it for Mac, but on the other side, you kind of expected it to happen. Uh, and it's just, it's unfortunate, but it, it also just kind of is what it is. Mac wouldn't have been able to probably give us more than one inning there anyhow. That was going to be his last inning of work, just based on pitch count. Um, so, um, you know, you hate it for him, but uh, but on the other side, we kind of expected it, you know, with the weather being like it was today. And I, th I felt like, you know, fortunately for us, we only, you know, had about a 45-minute a weather delay there. So we put the tarp on, took it right back off. Clark got ready to go, and we could continue play. So, uh, you know, it actually worked out pretty good for us today. Coach, uh, you, you actually haven't played Virginia in a couple seasons. Um, you swept them, I think, three years ago. Uh, but how good does it feel just to be able to jump out to this uh, one game lead against Coach O'Connor, a coach who just won the national title just six years ago? Well, you know, anytime you can win game one in an ACC series, that's a good thing. And, you know, regardless of who you're playing, we don't necessarily look at it, you know, as far as whether it's Virginia, NC State, Georgia Tech, Miami, doesn't matter who it is. It's a game one win. What I'm proud of with my club is we faced an ace their ace and Abbott, and I felt like we did some good things against Abbott. You know, you go into this game and you look at Abbott's stats and you feel like it may be tough for us to score against this guy. I'm proud of the way we swung the bats and the way we played um, against a great starting pitcher. Their starting pitching is arguably, you know, statistically one of the best starting staffs in the league. Uh, so for us to be able to score some runs and help Anglin out, and for Anglin to pitch the way he did in, in, in game one, like a true Friday night guy, I just thought I was really proud of the way we played today. I mean, we, we did all phases of the game. Uh, we played just a complete baseball game. And, and yeah, you know that Virginia is going to be very fundamentally sound. They're very well coached. Um, and, um, they, and they have been playing well. You know, they beat Georgia Tech last weekend at Georgia Tech. So, uh, you know, they were a preseason top eight team in the country. So, you know, for us to play the way we did today, I'm just proud of our club and um, you know, glad we got game one. Hey, Monty, it's Will. Uh, kind of playing off of that, uh, you got a couple of big two-out hits today, uh, and that seemed to be what was the difference for you guys in winning this game. Yeah, it was. It was two two-out hits by two veteran players that, you know, they love to have that leverage at bat. And, uh, you know, Parker's been doing it all year. And Hackenberg, there's a reason why Hack hits in the five-hole, you know, the five-hole – comes up in two-out RBI situations a lot. 
And, uh, you know, he delivered for us. That was the biggest at bat of the game right there, that two-strike base hit. We had scored one run, wind up scoring two more, and we have a big inning right there. And, you know, oftentimes in baseball, when you win a game, uh, you score more runs in one inning than the other team does the whole game. It happens a lot. So the big inning is critical for us. And for us to be able to come up with that at bat right there, uh, you know, that was, that was the difference on the offensive side. So I thought that was the at bat of the game. Coach, you've had uh, you've had nine different guys make uh, weekend starts for you this season. Um, none of the guys you, you started on the weekend to, to open the season are starting this weekend. Is it been one one of the more unusual seasons for you, just in terms of having to shuffle and reshuffle your weekend starters? I'll be honest with you, I don't really look at it that I don't look at it personally like that. I don't really look at the big picture like who all we pitched. I just look at it this way. What, who do we need to start this weekend? Who's healthy? Who do we need to start this weekend to win the series? That's, that's really all I look at is uh, if Anglin's available, he hasn't been available, unfortunately, the last two weekends. He's a Friday night guy. I think you could see that today. He is a Friday night guy. When he's on, he's as good as anybody in the country. He's going to make a lot of money in this game if he stays healthy. Keyshawn asked you on Saturday, the way I look at it, if you don't win game one, you got the best Saturday starter in the league, arguably going in game two. So since we've had him back since that Boston, I guess Boston College or Virginia Tech weekend, he there's a reason we've won our last three series going in this weekend is because of Askew. He's been he's been pitching phenomenally for us on Saturday. And then we got Hoffman starting on Sunday. On Sunday, you go into game three, you want a strike thrower. You want a guy that's going to force the other team to swing the bat to beat you on Sundays. Feel like Hoffman's the right guy for the job on Sunday. So we like what we've got right now, but you're right. I mean, we have started a bunch of different guys and it's been more, it's been more health related than anything, but I'm just proud of the way that our guys here, you know, in the last few weeks with all the adjustments that we've had to make starting pitching wise, our guys have responded and done a great job. Anything else for Coach Lee? All right, thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach.